Whoopi had no chance to write it. I don't accept that kind of language. You can call her whatever you want, but you don't talk to me that way or I'll leave. Well, don't let the door hit you on your big black ass, mama, on the way out of here. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Now, Whoopi, you is a filthy nigger. <laughs> Yikes. There's a lot in there, isn't there? But I want to show you, Howard Stern, who I used to listen to maybe 10, 15 years ago, um, I thought he was very funny, and he was very, um, you know, broke all the rules, but he's lately become a real scold. Like Sarah Silverman, I liked her when she was telling outrageous jokes, but now she's just a Democrat scold. That's what Howard Stern has become, just a scold, anti-Trump, Democrat, boring, boring, boring. Now, I want to show you a video from him. Do you have the Tariq Nasheed version? So I, I, like, I like looking at Tariq Nasheed. He's a bit of a, uh, he believes in foundational black Americans and American descendants of slaves. I don't agree with everything Tariq Nasheed said, but I love following him because he's a reminder of the other side of the story. And um, here's a little video he posted of Howard Stern. How come Howard Stern isn't canceled? Take a look at this. You use the N word a lot. Um, you no, I didn't. Really? I, I yeah. used the N word. Yeah, you did. Wait a second. Hold on. I do. Oh, I say that. It. Whoopi, wait, hold on. Wait, wait. But, no, we had a guy on from the Ku Klux Klan. Yes. Who very freely used the N word. Yes. And my belief was, hey. Say it out in the open. Yes. And I didn't use the N-word. Let's be I'm very not. clear. Hey, Robin, what does you call a black rocket scientist? I don't know, Dad. A nigger. No. We'll be rolling. We'll be rolling. <laughs> I want you to give us a kiss, you smelly cockhead coon. I love May you. May I say something yeah. here? Mm-hmm. Oh, you can say whatever you want, you smelly nigger. Oh. <laughs> Whoopi wrote that. That's it, Ted. You didn't know I was going to say that. John, your big black ass, my mom, the way out of here. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Now, Whoopi. You is a filthy nigger. <laughs> I didn't write that. Well, you is a smelly nigger, so what's the difference? Look, you two, yeah. don't you think you're going to ruin your career this way? No, no, no. What's wrong with you? This here routine is showing people that we is not afraid to confront our racial stereotypes. Look at here. We is a nation of racists, and we must break through that barrier that we done constructed for ourselves. Can't you see that? Can't uh -oh. you see that, you little rib breath? Yikes. There's a lot in there, isn't there? First of all, maybe Stanley Tucci's right. Maybe that's Hollywood. Maybe they all are that way. And if there's a black person in the room, he just has to ha -ha, laugh along with it or he won't get the roles. So let's talk about it. So first of all, what was interesting in that clip is you saw that Howard Stern starts by saying, oh, I never used the n-word i once had a klansman on and we let him say it to show how terrible he is no 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 i never used the n-word um <clears throat> yeah i think he did mate i think he used it again and again uh in a pejorative way uh there, i don't i don't know if there is many other ways especially for a white person to say it um so uh, how many people were involved in the, in the production of that? Now, I'm not saying you can't have profane comedy. But this is the guy who, at the beginning of that clip, was saying, I never use the N-word, only Klansmen do. He's, a, he's calling Trump a racist. He says that Trump is dividing us. Trump's a white supremacist. I don't know if he's used that exact word. Well, that was some pretty rough stuff there, wasn't it? I guess I'm just noting who gets fired and who doesn't. I mean, that Howard, I mean, Howard Stern is a dirty comedian. Um, but he's got, what, like a quarter billion dollar contract with uh, Sirius XM satellite radio or something. So, I mean, really, they built that satellite radio around him, didn't they, Justin? Is that right? I mean, he was, he was the huge star that they locked in. He was the king of radio, and he was going to be the guy to pull everyone over. And he, he almost has like an equity deal in that. He, he used to. I haven't looked at his deal lately. But he had such a, almost like a commission on new sales. If you take Howard Stern out of XM Radio, I don't know if it's grown enough uh, to live on its own without Howard Stern. Maybe. 
But uh, you're about to see uh, corporate greed versus corporate woke wokeness have the biggest fight of its life. That's an excerpt from a daily live stream show that I do every day at 12 noon Eastern time. I talk about the stories of the day, play some fun videos, and most importantly, I take your questions and comments in what YouTube calls a super chat. If you like that, please tune in live. It's way more fun that way. You can join the conversation. And every day at 8 p.m., I have a special produce show with a whole monologue and I interview guests and I read my fan mail and my hate mail. You can learn more about both my daily live show and the nightly premium show at rebelnews.com.